What's up, Navigation Traders? Hope everybody had a great week of trading. Welcome to this week's video update. Today is Friday, November 17th. Before we jump into the alerts, just wanted to make a quick announcement here. I updated the how to use navigation alerts video, so if you haven't had a chance, make sure you watch that. It really just sets the stage for how to get the most out of navigation alerts, kind of some do's and don'ts of the use of the alerts and that kind of stuff. So check that out, especially if you are a newer member. So without further ado, let's jump into the alerts. First alert that we had on the 13th on Monday, and we had a lot of closing adjusting trades. When, you, when you're in that week leading up to expiration, you know, it was expiration week for the November's options, you're get, we're gonna have a lot of closing and adjusting type trades. So not as many opening trades this week, a lot of, a lot of closing and adjustments. So first one was an adjustment in Adobe, and this is where we just simply closed out the 155, 160 call vertical. This was deep in the money. We just closed this out uh, and, and still holding on to our 175, 180 call vertical along with our full iron condor. So if we go to the platform and take a look at Adobe, you can see you know, it had that surprise move up on us and then it's just kind of grinded higher since then, starting to, looks like price is starting to kind of settle down into a range. So we've got this, uh, we've got this call vertical. So we're looking for a little bit of a down move to benefit that piece. And then we've also got this, another iron condor on here where we put it on to collect more credit, give ourselves some more time to get back, get back to profit. So you can see prices right here, well within our range. So we're just waiting on Adobe. The applied volatility continues to stay really high. Finally starting to get a tiny bit of contraction today, but uh, hopefully we'll see, see some more contraction in that implied volatility, assuming price kind of settles down here and hopefully, hopefully get back to profit in Adobe. Next trade, uh, I talked about the roll. Um, of, so we've got that um, 180, 185 call spread, the one I just showed you. Next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in IBM. So price in IBM continued to move down. This was originally, originally a short straddle. And so with price moving down, we needed to roll down our untested side. So we roll down our 155 down to 150. So we've got this inverted strangle in IBM. And you can see how price has just kind of moved, moved down after earnings here. So we've got this inverted strangle with the 150 call, 160 put, uh, looking for a little bit of an up move to kind of get back in that range. And uh, we, we will eventually roll this to January. So we've got uh, 20 some days. What do we got here? We've got 20, 28 days in December, 63 in January. So we want to wait till this gets down to about 45 to 50 days before, before we roll out of December into January. But by doing that, we should collect another nice credit and continue to chip away at IBM. Next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in the S&P 500. So this was a short call vertical. This was part of what was originally an iron condor. We decided to hold on to that short call spread to keep that short delta, some of that short bias in our portfolio. And so we simply just roll this from November to December. And we roll the strikes from the 2550, 2580 to the 2590-2620. So if we go to the platform and take a look at ES, see where we're at there. This is that position here. So you can see now we hold the 2590-2620 call spread. And, uh, and we're gonna look to put on another iron condor it's kind of centered around where price is. Uh, I, was, I, I was trying to get filled on one on Thursday when we had that big down day and implied volatility spiked. Uh, but then uh, yesterday, uh, excuse me, Wednesday was the big down day. Thursday climbed back up and implied volatility dropped. So I'm gonna hold off on that. You know, if we get a little bit more continuation to the downside and implied volatility pops back up, we'll definitely look to do that. Uh, and, if, and if it just kind of stays stays where it's at, we'll still probably put one on. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in soybeans. So we were continuing to work our way nicely out of soybeans. So we'd put that IC on, 
Iron Condor took it off, took, booked a nice little profit on that piece. And in XLV, we, uh, we did a closing trade in XLV. So we had a butterfly, made about 20% profit on debit pay there. So that was a good trade in XLV. XLV is the healthcare index. So you can see implied volatility is, is popping back up today. So still stay nice and high. So we may potentially look at a new position in XLV next week. Keep in mind, we're kind of in that no man's land right now where we've got 28 days to expiration in December. And so it's under 30 days and then over 60 days in January. So it's not that you don't want to put positions on here, but um, you know, starting next week, we'll definitely be, be starting to put enter positions in January. So look for that. Next trade was uh, we bought an iron condor back, uh, closing adjusting trade in ES. So we just had three days left, left to expiration. This is one where price was hanging out all the way on our upper range. I feel, felt like the whole, the whole time. Finally got that little move down and we were able to book a nice, nice profit on that piece. I already showed you we still have the call vertical, so we're still in the ES iron condor, but we'll continue to, to look for new opportunities to add to that one. Uh, hopefully next week. And then we had another ES trade, another S&P 500 futures trade. We had a long put vertical. So this is totally separate from our iron condor. As I stay here, this position is separate from our iron, iron condor trade. This is one that we just simply put on a couple months ago to add some short bias, some, some short delta to our portfolio. So we rolled that from November to December. So if we go back to the Analyze tab and click off the calls and click on the puts. So you can see here, it's just we need, to, we, need to, we need price to move down to benefit this piece. But again, this is in our portfolio for that protection. Uh, so if the, if the market does make a, a major down move, we're going to have that, that bias. I, I talk about this every time, but just remember when you're selling premium for range bound type strategies like iron condors, strangles, straddles, butterflies, calendars, You've got to protect yourself to the downside because the velocity of, of moves to the downside uh, happen quicker than they do to the upside. Now, it puts a little bit of a drag on our portfolio performance when the market's just rallying uh, seem, seemingly every day. Uh, we finally got some downside. Hopefully, that's a sign of more two-sided action in the market. So, want to keep that downside protection on because it will benefit us in the long run. Next trade was a closing trade in ADSK. So this was a pre-earnings long call that we had put on last week. And so we were, we were just looking for an expansion in implied volatility as well as a, uh, a up move in price. Got both of those, it was an excellent trade. Uh, booked that in less than a week for a nice profit there. And actually let's go to our trade, uh, closed trades to take a look at what we got there. Made 232 bucks on that. So nice, nice profit there. The XLV butterfly that I mentioned before that we closed, uh, booked a hundred bucks on that. So closed trades are, have been awesome this month. So we continue to book really nice winners in November. Let's go back to our alerts and continue where we left off here. So that was the ADSK. Next trade was a, a closing trade where we bought back a strangle in XRT. So book that for just under 50% of max profit, so that was a nice trade in XRT. Now, XRT, I was actually looking to, to re-enter this today in, in the January cycle, but it just was not getting the amount of credit uh, to make that, that I thought was, was, that was worth it. So, applied volatility has come down significantly. The IV percentile is still over that 50 mark. So if we get a pop back up, we may look to enter XRT a new, a new position next week. So we'll continue to monitor that. For now, we are, we are completely out of XRT. Uh, next trade was a, an opening trade that we put on today, and that was a post earnings short put. So this was in Foot Locker, which Foot Locker is not a stock that we trade a lot, but we really like these high probability post earning trades where uh, if, if the price opens up above the expected move, for the, for the earnings announcement, then it's typically going to stay higher and, and maybe grind or go higher in on kind of a continuation basis. And so that's what we were looking for 
in Foot Locker. So as soon as the market opened, we started trying to get filled and you could do a, you could sell short, we did short naked puts in this case. Uh, because it's only a, it's a lower price stock, Foot Locker is a $40 stock. Um, we wanted, we, we used short naked puts. You could have used uh, short put verticals, but I just didn't see, an, see getting enough credit because of the low price of this stock. So uh, we, we got in when price had moved down to about here. So we're up a little bit on this trade, up about 70 bucks. Uh, I wanna take at least 100, 150, 200 bucks out of this trade. So hopefully into next week, we see a little bit of a continuation higher in Foot Locker. Next trade, and uh, this was also today, we opened a new trade in EWW, which is the Mexican ETF. This is our first position that we entered in the January cycle. It's got 63 days to expiration, looking for a 30 to 50% of max profit uh, to book a winner in EWW. So as you can see, we just put it on today, so still pretty centered in our range. EWW, uh, the IV percentile when I put this on was at 60, so we've already got a little bit of a contraction there. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor EWW. And lastly, last trade was an opening adjusting trade in Baidu. So this is one that we had on originally an Iron Condor earnings play, and it made a pretty decent move to the downside, so we adjusted that. So let's go to the platform and I'll show you what we've got on in Baidu now. Uh, we've got that's not what we want. Baidu. So, go to the Analyze tab. This is the, the alert that I was just talking about. We put on a new iron condor as an adjustment here. And then we're, then we're also holding our short put vertical here. So, we want price to stay kind of higher to range bound. And, and hopefully we can benefit on both of these pieces and, and book a profit in Baidu. So, you can see after earnings we had that Decent move down, and then prices just kind of stayed fairly range bound here. So, continue to monitor Baidu. Uh, this was a good one to put on IV percentile over that 50 mark. So, just collect more credit, extending our duration, giving ourselves more time to be right. Let's take a look at some of the other positions. Still got a Nat Gas Iron Condor on, and you can see price is still well within our range here. Not enough profit to take off. If we look at the uh, corresponding ETF UNG, you can see implied volatility has continued to stay high, one of the higher higher ones on the board at this time. So we'll continue to watch UNG. Uh, soybeans, we've got an iron condor on in soybeans. Still well within our range here, just trying to work our way back to profit in soybeans. In wheat, we've got two different positions on. We've got our iron condor here, uh, not enough profit to take off yet, but very centered. And then we've got our short put vertical price kind of when we originally adjusted this price broke down through our break even now price has moved back up nicely just need a little bit more move up uh, we've only got a few days left seven days left to expiration so we'll be getting out of this piece regardless of what price does but looking for a little bit of a price move higher to hopefully book a book a small profit out of that piece the iron condor i mentioned adobe uh, we, so we've got this full iron condor on in Adobe, and we've also got the short call spread. So need a little bit of a down move to range bound in Adobe to benefit that piece. I mentioned Baidu DIA. We, this was uh, previously an iron condor, and then we've rolled this short call vertical to keep some of that short delta in our portfolio. So just looking for a little bit more continuation to the downside to benefit that piece. I mentioned EWW. EWZ made a nice move up today, kind of back into center. Uh, not quite enough to, to take off for profit here. I want to look at about 40% at least uh, of max profit before we book that one. I mentioned Foot Locker FXI. We've got a strangle on here. Price very centered here, just waiting for some more profit to accumulate in FXI. I mentioned IW, uh, IBM IWM. We've got an iron condor on. And uh, just need a little bit more of a down move, a little bit more time to pass to collect some more theta in IWM. And the Qs, we've got this adjusted iron condor, which is, so it's just the call side, call vertical side, looking for a little bit more of a down move in, in the Qs to benefit that piece. And then we've also got the full iron condor on, 
Uh, again, could use some more downside and some more theta decay to benefit that. Both of those are in December, 28 days to expiration, so we got a lot of time left in those. And then finally, XOP. So XOP came down, almost tested our short strike, almost came down to the point of needing to adjust, and then has uh, rallied back nicely here. So well back within our range. We're down a little bit currently on the trade, but just need a little bit more movement to the upside and a little bit more contraction in implied volatility to benefit XOP. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.